Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be discussing the basic difference between Flask and Zango. And we'll also discuss that when you should use Flask, when you should use Zango. But before moving ahead, guys, remember Flask and Zango are frameworks that are built on Python and they can basically be used for creating web-based uh, applications or web APIs. Now, when I talk about web APIs, I'm just talking about REST APIs. Now, if we just talk about REST APIs and why this is very important for those who are planning to move towards data science, right? Remember that in the life cycle of a data science project, at the end, we will be doing the deployment of models, right? Once we do the deployment of the model, those model REST API is basically exposed to the front web application. It may be anything. It may be a web app. It may be mobile app. It can be anything, right? So if I want to develop the web API with respect to the model, I can basically use Flask or Django frameworks to do it. Apart from this web API, Flask and Django can also be used for creating web-based framework. Now, if you have never seen my deployment playlist videos where I've used Flask, along with that, I've used a platform as a service called as Heroku. Please go and visit that. There you'll get an idea how a Flask framework basically works. At the end, I'll also be saying you that where you can study Flask and Django frameworks completely for free, I'll be saying the YouTube channel which you can basically refer. So make sure you watch this video till the end. Now let us find out the differences between Flask and Django and when you should use Flask or when you should use Django. Suppose if you're planning to move towards data science, make sure that you compulsory know Flask because Flask is pretty much simple. If you just invest one week of time, you will be able to learn Flask very quickly because the architecture is very, very simple. The framework is very, very simple, right? And with the help of those, you can basically create a very small application very quickly. So whenever you have a POC kind of projects or whenever you have some web API projects, please grow with Flask. Again, now it does not mean that Django is not good, right? Django framework is also very, very good. and uh, I would suggest you that whenever you are developing a large application, you can go with Zango framework because it has a lot of options, a lot of, lot of different kind of dashboards. It helps you to create. You can basically create a very large application. Again, both the frameworks are with Python. And one more, the similar thing is that with Zango framework also, you can create a web-based framework. You can also create a web APIs. Now, with respect to data science, which you should focus on, you can focus on both of them but make sure that you know flask at least because most of the platforms where you, uh, and i'm just talking about cloud 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 platforms where you are planning to deploy your models right there you can basically create a Flask framework and you can deploy your model to create REST APIs. Similarly, you can do with Zango. The reason is that in most of the cloud platform, they provide you, they give you Linux operating system where Python is already installed. So with the help of Python, and since these frameworks are developed in Python, you can directly host them, you know, and you can get basically get the REST API. So most of the platforms like AWS, Azure, right? And apart from that, you have Heroku, so all this kind of platform supports this. And it also depends what kind of platform you are using, whether it is an infrastructure as a service or platform as a service. So both this particular framework is very, very good, guys. But you should know that when you should use which one. If you are creating a very large application where a lot of web APIs or uh, a web-based project needs to get created, a bigger one, you can definitely go with Zango. Again, uh, with respect to Flask API, most of the data scientists uh, use Flask framework. The reason is that they need to quickly deploy the model and just get the REST API. And if you just have one model for a particular problem statement, I think it is very, very simple just to create a Flask framework and deploy it in what, whichever cloud you basically want. And I have been learning Flask and Zango, both of them for many years now, now more than one and a half years since I started focusing on the deployment part, okay? Now, the channel that I would like to refer to you where you can basically learn both Flask and Zango and the teaching is very, very good. I'd, I'd, I'd support one channel called as Corey Schaffer. He has one of the best channel for Python programming languages, for Flask framework, for Zango framework. So all these things are freely available over there. He has also shown how we can deploy that Zango framework into platforms like Heroku. Okay, so apart from that, I'll be coming with up with deployment videos where I'll be creating a Flask framework for NLP models, for machine learning models, and I'll show you how I can deploy that into um, Heroku platforms or 
EC2, AWS platforms and all. So this was all about this particular video. I hope you understood the basic difference between Flask and Django. Always remember that if you are planning to make a transition towards data science, Flask is compulsory because in real world industries, you will be working in one kind of model sometime, right? And uh, at a time you will be just working in one model. Uh, once that model is basically created, you can quickly create a web API with the help of Flask framework. And the learning time is very, very quick. With respect to Django, you have to invest some time to learn all the method methodology to create the web API frameworks. But if I just think towards data science, web api is the most important thing we don't have to worry about the web-based application because web-based application will be handled by the other team with respect to data science you should focus on the model and the model deployment apart from the feature engineering and feature selection in the life cycle of a data science projects so this was all about this particular video guys i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe to the channel if you have not already subscribed i'll see you all in the next video have a great day ahead thank you one and all